Hello guys, and today I'm going to eat some out of date coconut macaroons. Now I didn't actually buy these, and I have no idea where they came from. Um, on Christmas Day, somebody dropped these and some of the things off on my door. Now to be completely honest, um, I did a video on that, and to be honest with you, I had other food of my own to eat. And I still haven't eaten a lot of my own food yet, so I wanted to give my own food priority. Now this was dated... The 14th of the 11th, 2022, but, and I got it on Christmas Day, um, December the 25th, but they were only just over an hour, a month out of date, so of course I'd give them another month or so, just for, so that the whoever it was that wanted to see me out of, eating out of date food, because it's bound to be somebody from YouTube, um, who somehow dropped them off, I don't think anybody else would have done it, but I don't know, right, um, could see me eating some even more out of date food than when they gave it to me okay now the new story today is about flyby going bankrupt there's also a story about some new charity store um super um mall or something like that or department store or something like that um and there's also been a new story about um the first minister of wales's wife dying I couldn't have known these things, um, you know, a month ago or even two months ago. So, that proves that they really are out of date, okay? Um, it's not Christmas, I have also today just done a video of me eating some um, Mr. Kipling and uh, Mr. Kipling um, winter berry tart. Uh, I've done a video on that and you know so i've only and that's just been uploaded so i'm not going to open it okay now it says it's one pound 99 um why the person left them and never ate them i don't know maybe they did it just for me and they wanted to wait till they were out of date so that i would eat them anyway if it is somebody from youtube land thank you i hope these aren't poisoned or anything nasty i hope there's not been like specially made to like kill me or something but anyway i'm gonna take a risk i'm gonna take one out yeah it's a bit of fur <coughs> so it might be a bit stale but you'd expect that and given i've had it an extra month out of date it's probably even more stale but never mind oh I do like coconut stuff that's designed to taste like coconut, okay? So I like, I like bounty bars and things like that. What I don't like is, to put it bluntly, vegan food that tries not to be vegan food, okay? And by that, I mean when they use things like coconut oil and other stuff to try to make something taste like um, a meat food a meat um, dish or something when it isn't, you know? Or, well, if I can use, like, coconuts or other strange stuff, I don't know what it is, to make um, something that isn't cheese look and taste like cheese. Okay? And this is a coconut that tastes like coconut. Now, I guess it might have been back if it was, um, Still in date, might be a bit more juicy, more flavourful, but it's still perfectly edible. Okay? There's no green anywhere. It hasn't gone mouldy. It's getting slightly stiffer, but it's not really, really hard. So it's not as if it's destroying my teeth to eat them or anything like that. It's absolutely perfect. I never gave them to eat them, 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 them. Maybe they changed their mind, maybe they didn't like them. Maybe, um, I don't know. I still never found out who it was, but it was whoever gave me this card and left it 
at my front door. There's a message saying, wishing you a happy Christmas, a well-wisher. Now, I never worked out who that was. Maybe I should analyze the writing, and maybe it's somebody that's been there from around here. I have no idea. Uh, anyway, um, yes, this tastes quite nice, so, and I'm going to be on the back, it says six large coconut macaroons, it says these delicious cakes are gluten free, now, I normally won't say I thought gluten free or something like that food tasted awful, and why did they do it? And I got a telling off from some people saying that some people had to eat gluten free food because um, they had an allergy and if they ate food which had gluten it would make them very ill. So then I went on a guilt trip out of deal, I didn't realise that, I thought it was just some um, food companies doing some fancy marketing like no artificial sugars or sweeteners or whatever they put in, you know. Or no artificial flavours or something like that. Yep, yeah, so now, this is the second one. Um, so, it might be a bit better if it's a bit more moist, if it was fresher, but probably okay. It's coconut, it's designed to taste like coconut, and just tastes like coconut. In the past, I have done some sort of coconut cake. Okay? And I used to use um, something called desecrated coconut in some sort of strange Jamaican style cake or something that I've did two or three times. I'm not sure, I don't think I did a video of it to be honest, but I did make it in the past, okay? Make it proper cooking, so there you go guys. Um The brand name is Patterns Original, it says KTM. I don't think I even know where KTM is. I don't think there's a KTM here, but I wouldn't have a clue. Uh, I mean, it could be a small stuff, I wouldn't know. So, there you go, guys. Me eating. Next day. Pakistan's original macaroon. And so for once, I actually got this one month out of date from no idea where. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.